Happy Brawlidays. That's right, guys. Brawlidays is coming, and my present to you, the Brawl Stars tier list. Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Carl Simon, and it is time to brawl. Now, today, we're jumping into the newest Brawl Stars tier list. With all the changes to the maps, as well as the addition of Leon, we wanted to be super diligent in making sure that this was the most accurate tier list to date. And, <laughs> man, we really did that. <laughs> now, you will note some very important changes from version 7 of the tier list. First of all, a new overall Brawl Stars tier list that does take into consideration all of the tiers from all of the game modes and lists the brawlers from bottom to top so you know which brawlers really are the best in the game. On top of that, we also added the Golden S tier which will be res reserved for one single brawler who is considered the best brawler for that specific game mode. We also added the new brawler Leon into the tier list and we removed the Brawl Ball roles including Field Control, Wall Breaker, and Ball Carrier simply because they it just didn't actually help in shaping a comp like you could choose three field controls or three ball carriers and it didn't really matter so the roles although cool I think we're just kind of confusing and not really necessary. Make sure you subscribe for future tier lists, including a special event tier list and the event mod tier list. Now let's do a quick refresher of the tiers. Okay, so your B tier are going to be brawlers that are map and comp dependent. These are the brawlers that I don't really recommend playing with randoms. They are definitely the best to play with teams. Um, a tier brawlers are ones that are great on most maps and even in most team comps. Uh, they're okay to play with randoms, but even better than that is going to be your S tier brawlers, which are excellent on almost every single map with almost any other comp and these are the best options to play if you are going to be jumping into that solo queue and playing with randoms. Brawlers that are not shown are not considered competitive for a specific game mode and this is based on a competitive meta. So if you are lower in the trophies this will be incredibly helpful for you but do understand and recognize that the meta might be slightly different than what you're used to seeing because not all new players have all of the brawlers to play with. Now it's time to talk about all the changes for the gem grab tier list. First of all you will notice that Pam is being awarded the golden S tier position. Jesse is moving from the a tier up into the S tier and Leon is starting as an S tier aggro brawler. Penny and Poco are moving from the S tier down into the A tier and Barley and Daryl are moving from the B tier up into the A tier. Bo and Ricochet are moving from the A tier down into the B tier and Bull is actually moving up from the non-competitive tier into the B tier. Removed from the competitive tier list since version 7 are going to be Dynamite, Frank, and Piper for gem grab. It is no wonder that Pam is going to be considered the first golden S tier for gem grab. She was very strong already in gem grab and with her recent buff she is the queen of gem grab. Jessie's also moving from the A tier up into the S tier because of her increased reload speed. Not only has this added damage per second to her actual stats but she also now can use that to more frequently heal up her turret. Leon is a very strong brawler. In fact, he is starting in the S tier as an aggro brawler, meaning that it is his goal to try and keep enemy players pushed back so that your gem carrier has an easier time picking up the gems. Penny is moving from the S tier down into the A tier for two reasons. First of all, she definitely got hit pretty hard with that recent nerf, but Pam's recent buff has made Pam very much more viable, which means that Penny is a less of a competitive option. Poco is specifically moving down into the A tier because Pam is so prevalent. Poco has so little DPS, he's just unable to compete against Pam, and so he is moving down into the A tier. Still a great option, just not S tier like he used to be. Barley is moving up into the A tier because of some of the recent changes to the maps. For example, Hard Rock Mine now has added walls that allows him to be a little bit more of a support brawler over on the right side of the map, and we're definitely starting to see a little bit of a resurgence of Barley because his super does such a good job of controlling a very large part of the map, and Barley can actually use the protection of walls to get close to those turrets and take them out pretty easily. Daryl is moving up from the B tier into the A tier, and Daryl is very interesting. His recent rework made him way worse in Heist than he used to be, but way better in many other game modes, including Gem Grab, where he definitely feels a little bit less of a, a powerhouse than he used to be, but way more versatile. Bo is moving from the A tier down into the B tier. This is partly due to the fact that there are so many better gem carrier options than Bo, but also due to the fact that he is very dependent on bushy maps for him to really survive. Ricochet is moving down into the B tier because of the map changes, where he used to be very strong at being able to control very narrow corridors on a map, 
Those corridors have almost all been increased in width, making his bounce way less dominating than it used to be. The increased map size has actually allowed for Bull to take a little bit of a spot in gem grab, where he now has more area for him to dodge shots, and he has more area to try to get close up on enemy brawlers. Being removed from the gem grab tier list is Dynamite, who just not is not nearly as useful as Barley. Barley has control over Dynamite, and in gem grab, control is just way more important. Frank is also being removed. I suppose he could still be used with some like very skilled players and clutch moments with his super, but he's just not as consistent as we need him to be in order for him to be on this tier list for gem grab. Piper is also being removed. While she could be good on like one or two maps, Piper just seems to really not do very well in gem grab. For the solo showdown tier list, we have Leon starting out in the S tier, Pam moving from the A tier into the S tier, Bull moving from the B tier up into the A tier, and Daryl moving all the way from the non-ranked position up into the A tier. Barley, Dynamite, Bo, and Terra are all moving from the A tier down into the B tier, and being removed from the showdown tier list is going to be Frank, Penny, Poco, and Ricochet. Leon's up at the top, guys. Golden S tier brawler starting off hot in solo showdown, where Leon really seems to be the king. One of the big biggest reasons to use Leon in solo showdown right now is the fact that he can single-handedly take care of teams, which is something that very few other brawlers can actually do. In fact, this has greatly impacted the meta, where way fewer people are willing to team on solo showdown in the competitive meta, which, for you new players, please don't team! It's a ruined solo showdown for so many people. It might seem like a fun idea at the start, but... It's not worth it, guys. Pam is moving up into the S tier 4 solo showdown. Her increased HP due to the recent buff has made her a lot more viable, and she's one of the few brawlers that can actually stand alone against a Leon. With less teaming being prevalent in here, Bull, Daryl, and El Primo, the tanks, are starting to see a lot more use in solo showdown. Not only are these brawlers some of the only brawlers that can actually handle a Leon one-on-one, -on -one, but the fact that there aren't teams of two or three people trying to chase them out and take them out has made them way more viable. Shelly is also moving up into the a tier as a very good counter against these tanks. Barley and Dynamite are moving down to the B tier because Leon is, does such a great job at countering them. There's just very little that they can do. His fast move speed makes it hard for them to hit them, and when he goes invisible, all they can do is just try to run away. They are still good on some maps like Hot Maze, but other than that, they're a lot less competitive than they used to be. With teaming being less prevalent, and because Leon does a good job at countering Bo, Bo is also moving down to the B tier where he is only good on very specific maps that have a lot of grass. With Terra's recent nerf, she's also being moved down to the B tier where she's able to use her super a little bit less frequently and her severe inability to deal with an enemy Leon. Frank and Poco are both being removed from the competitive solo showdown tier list because now the teaming is a lot less prevalent, they definitely are not very competitive. Penny's being removed because her nerf just made her a lot less consistent and there's very little that she can do against an enemy Leon. And Ricochet is being removed as well because of his very low survivability. Now it is time for the duo showdown competitive tier list. Once again, Leon is starting in the golden S tier position and Pam is moving from the B tier up into the S tier. Moving from the S tier, we have both Barley and Dynamite going down into the A tier and then Daryl is moving from the non-ranked position all the way up into the A tier and Jesse is moving from the B tier up into the A tier. In the B tier, we have Poco going from the S tier down into the B tier and Frank and Mortis both going from the A tier into the B tier. And being removed from the competitive duo showdown tier list is going to be Nita and Penny. I don't really feel like I need to talk about why Leon is so great in Duo Showdown. Does a great job at pairing with a lot of different brawlers for very similar reasons as to why Pam was in the S tier for a Solo Showdown. She's also being moved up into the Duo Showdown where her turret can actually now actually help heal teammates, which is very beneficial. Barley and Dynamite are both moving down into the A tier because they just do not hold very good of a candle against Leon. He's so prevalent that they're just not as good as they used to be. Daryl used to just not be a very good option in uh, Duo Showdown, but now he's just very fun, a lot more viable than he used to be. Jessie's also moving up because of her ability to use her faster reload speed to actually deal more damage and keep her turret up for a longer period of time. Frank and Poco are both being moved down into the B tier because of their lower damage per second ability, and Mortis is being moved down into the B tier simply because the throwers are a lot less prevalent than they used to be, and there are better counters to those throwers. And Leon does such a great job at countering Mortis, so he's just not quite as good. Nita's being removed from the competitive duo showdown tier list because of her very low DPS, and due to Penny's recent balance changes, she's 
also being removed from the, from the competitive tier list. Next, we have Heist, where Bull is moving from the A tier up into the golden S tier position. Leon, Leon is starting in the S tier position. El Primo is moving all the way from non-ranked up into the A tier. Crow and Spike are both moving from the S tier down into the A tier. Daryl is moving all the way from the S tier down into the B tier. And Nita is moving from the A tier into the B tier. Being removed from the competitive Heist tier list is going to be Ricochet, Terra, and Shelly. With the super long super of Daryl being totally reworked, Bull now has the longest charge in the game, but also he can break walls, which gives access to that safe for a lot of other brawlers that can attack from a distance. Leon is starting in the S tier. One of my favorite things with Leon is the fact that you can actually just sneak up on the enemy safe if the enemy team is not paying attention to where you're at. He can also deal a ton of damage to a safe with just his regular attack, which makes him very versatile in heist. El Primo is moving from the non-ranked position up into the A tier. There are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, you have wider maps, which makes it a lot easier for him to use the walls to try and get up close to the enemy safe, but also because of the way that the respawn has actually changed for defense in Heist, where he will now respawn very, very close up to the safe so that if there is an enemy brawler that is close, he can use his invincibility shield to quickly get rid of anybody that is right there. His jump is also very, very long, which allows him to get up close to that safe, and if you use it right, you can also break down some walls as well, similar to Bull, a little bit less consistent, but still a very solid option. Both Crow and Spike are being moved from the S tier into the A tier. This is because Leon is just such a strong replacement for both of them. Crow just cannot keep up with Leon, whether it's from a distance or up close, and Leon's burst potential is even better than Spike's. Not to mention the fact that both Crow and Spike have such low HPs, while Leon has a lot more survivability than both of them. Daryl is moving from the S tier down into the B tier. Bull is just a better option in Heist in general. Nita's also moving from the A tier into the B tier, because we found that while she did used to work a little bit, the recent balance changes have basically shifted the meta to a point where Nita just doesn't do as well as she used to. Ricochet and Shelly are both being removed from the Heist tier list they have they both have one map that they are decent on but uh, even on those one maps there are better brawlers for you to be playing on them and we just felt like we couldn't justify keeping either of them on there Terra as well we found that Terra just wasn't consistent enough on heist to be able to uh, keep her in the competitive tier list up next we have the brawl ball tier list which is going to have Terra as the golden S tier brawler Leon starting in the S tier Frank Nita and Mortis moving from the S tier down to the A tier and then Colt Pam and Shelly moving from the B tier up into the A tier Daryl is moving from non ranked up into the S tier and and Poco is moving from the A tier down into the B tier. Being removed from the Brawl Ball competitive tier list is going to be Penny and Ricochet. Terra is starting out with the golden S tier position. The thing with Brawl Ball is it is all about creating opportunities for one of your teammates to score a goal. And Terra does that better than any other brawler in the game. Leon is also starting out in the S tier for Brawl Ball. Is there any game mode that he's not doing that with? There is no other brawler that can get increased movement speed while they are carrying the ball. Frank is moving down into the A tier. This is greatly due to the fact that Leon is just so incredibly strong and he does such a great job at countering Frank. This is also true for Nita and Mortis. Mortis is still a very strong option for a very, very incredibly top tier Mortis player. But with Leon in the meta, who is such a hard counter to Mortis, there's just no way that we could justify keeping him in the S tier any longer. Colt is moving up into the A tier with his recent buff. He's able to deal more damage, which allows him to offer a lot more control. Pam is moving up into the A tier as well because of her added survivability and her ability to deal with Leon, even just like solo. And Shelly's also moving up into the A tier for a couple different reasons. One of the biggest reasons is the fact that she can take out a Leon if she uses a super and Leon isn't expecting it. But we've also seen that Shelly can consistently be played well, very well in Brawl Ball, especially now that the distance between goals is a lot shorter. Daryl is a lot more versatile than he used to be, which is why he's moving from the non-ranked up into the B tier, and Poco is moving down into the B tier because his damage per second is just so low that he's not as consistent as he used to be. Now where the goals are a lot closer, Poco just kind of falls off a little bit. Still a good option, just not the best. Penny and Ricochet are being removed from the competitive tier list. They just have lower DPS than, they, than is needed, and with wider walls, Ricochet just is not as consistent as he used to be. Now it's time to talk about the bounty tier list. Brock is going to be starting off with that gold an S tier position. Leon is also starting in the S tier. Bo is moving from the S tier down into the A tier, and Daryl is moving from non-ranked up into the A tier. No brawlers were removed from the bounty competitive tier list. The choice between Piper and Brock for the golden S tier position was a very, very hard decision to make. We decided to go with Brock. He has a faster reload speed than Piper. He has a very, very slightly longer range than Piper. And his super can not only be used offensively and defensively, Piper's can only be used defensively in most situations. We've even talked about like letting Piper and Brock take turns back and forth, but uh, That'd be kind of weird. Leon is starting out in the S tier. One of the hardest things with Leon and Bounty is being able to charge up his super over a long period of time, but there are only two, two 
Long range maps where Leon tends to struggle, and then there are seven other maps where Leon is just such a boss. Daryl's moving from the non ranked up into the A tier, and I definitely do think this is warranted. Daryl is just such a way more versatile brawler, but now that he has that super that automatically charges, he doesn't have to try to get close to an enemy brawler, he can just wait. Bo is moving from the S tier down into the A tier. Bo is still a great option in bounty, he has a very long range. He just is not nearly as good as Leon is, which is why he's great, but not excellent. Okay, guys. Are you ready for this overall Brawl Stars tier list? This is exciting, but let me explain how this is going to work out before I get to it. What we did is we took every single Brawler tier in every single game mode and we gave them a certain number of points according to how they ranked in each of those game modes. If they were non-ranked, they got zero points. If they were in the B tier, they got one point. If they were in the A tier, they got two points. And if they were S tier, they got three points. Then we added all the points together and ranked them from lowest to highest just based off of their point value. So that this overall tier list is as accurate as possible with as little bias as possible. And there you have it. We have the S tier brawlers, the A tier brawlers, and the B tier brawlers. Now the S tier brawlers are going to be the brawlers that are either just too strong for their own good, or the brawlers that have mechanics that make it so that they're just excellent options no matter where they're at. On the flip side, we have the B tier brawlers, which are either generally poor options, or they're very specialists that thrive very much on like specific maps or specific modes. And then we have the A tier brawlers, which are the brawlers that are in, in between the S tier and the B tier. I'm not going to talk about every brawler, but I will mention a few. First of all, you'll notice Leon. 18 out of 18. S tier in every single tier. Spike is also still very, very high. He actually went from 16 points down to 15 points. So not, even though he got a nerf, he didn't get moved very much. I also wanted to talk about Daryl, who had a massive rework with the last balance changes and shot up from having a score of 3 to a score of 10 in this overall tier list. One also very noticeable difference is Penny moving from 11 points down to 5, where she is not nearly as strong as she used to be. Then also we have Ricochet moving from 7 points down to 3 points. And this is all due to the way that the maps were actually changed, with the most recent update where they became wider and there were less opportunities for him to bounce shots and control the map. I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of the pro players that helped me with creating this video, okay? We've got Corey, we've got Cradu, Ed TM, Illustria, Jeff, Little Fox, LOL, Lukey Bear, Off the Bean, Olive Oil Portal, Shadow Juju, Skunk, Seaman, The Secret, United, and Z. Also, a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel in such a big way. Wait, are you, you still watching? For those of you guys that are, here's your real Christmas present. <laughs> That's right, we've got the screenshotable tier list. This is the culmination of hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of work. So please, if you share it, just make sure to send people over to my channel and tell them to subscribe. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my favorite series in, out of all the videos on my channel. It's just a ton of fun to make, and I love the in-depth discussion that goes into this that you guys don't actually get to see. It's really, really cool. Make sure you subscribe for future updates to this video series as well as other great Brawl Stars content. And for now, this is Carl's time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.